Good morning all you fine people out there. You guys are so bright. Calm down. Gotta put my broken shades on. One sec. There we go. All right. Now I'm ready. Should've done this before I started talking to you. How's it going? We're here in Harvey, North Dakota. Headed down to Albert Lee, Minnesota. And then we're gonna go to o Owatonna, load up a load, tarp it, take that load to Kamloops, BC. Hopefully being able to stop at home for tomorrow night. And from Kamloops, BC, we're gonna get a load coming home for the long weekend. Then we're gonna go to Britt's mom and stepdad's cabin. So I, I wanted to be home this weekend, but this would be the second weekend in a row that I'd have to work through. That's okay. That's okay. So I'll just take the load to Kamloops, and then I can be home for the long weekend for sure. And then we can go to the cab and have a whole bunch of fun, go swimming, go jump in the lake, maybe do some fishing. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The most important, and the second most important, the bell. So you get a little notification on your phone when my next video goes live. There's a new video every single day. We travel around North America, mostly the American Midwest and Western Canada. But uh, I have been known to go elsewhere. I've been doing this every day for about seven years now. It's a lot of fun. Rolling into the mega metropolis that is Fargo, North Dakota. I was gonna get my truck washed. Let's see if there's a lineup at the truck wash. We can see it right here on our left. Is there a lineup? If there's a lineup, I'm going right past. But if there's not, there's not much of a lineup. Okay. We're going for it. We're going for it. There's only one truck in line? Really? I bet you by the time I get there, there'll be 10 trucks in line. All right. All right, girls, time for a bath. I'm excited. Looks like it's gonna rain too. Fantastic. Perfect conditions to wash your truck. Unfortunately, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I only get my truck washed at Blue Beacons because they do the best job out of any truck wash that I've been to. I'm not uh, saying that I've been to a lot of truck washes. All I mean is that truck washes in Canada. I haven't found a good one other than Blue Beacons in the States. Does that make sense? And we don't have any Blue Beacons in Western Canada. So uh, this is where I usually get it washed. I try to come through here like at night when there's no lineup because it is an actual 24-hour Blue Beacon, unlike the Blue Beacon in Minot, North Dakota, where they close at 9.30 p.m. sharp. All right, let's see. Did anybody else sneak in in front of me? The car washers, I mean truck washers, right behind this. Here's the entrance, though. Doesn't look like any other people snuck in while we were making our way into here. Still the same people, good. They're all the way around over there. These blue beacons, they always have interesting entrance ways. And once you're in here, there's no going back. Like they got all these rocks everywhere. I don't know why. I wish people would have the option of like bailing here. Like if the lineup is taking too long, I wish there was a way that we could exit the lineup. But nope, once you're in the lineup, you're in the lineup. You gotta go through the truck wash to get out of here. There they are, right there. Just that guy in front of us. There's two bays here, so he's just waiting to see which bay is going to open. We'll just wait here. So here we wait. Diesel. Patient hey, easy for chuming. Exactly. I trained you well. I trained you well? Maybe you trained me a little bit too. Maybe we trained each other. Hey, what do you think? Something like that. He probably trained me a bunch. I know I've learned a whole lot over having him. Uh, he's almost seven years old now and I've had him since he was a pup in the truck with me. 24 hours a day, he's with me. Usually, I've gone on a few vacations and a few outings where uh, I've left him behind or left him with someone to care for him. But for the majority of it, 99% of his life has been right beside me. I know, man. I was there. I'm still here. So I have to take my half hour break anyway. I can't make it all the way to my destination south of Minneapolis without taking that half hour break because we are in the United States. 
and their regulations on their trucking industry here are a lot tougher and stricter than in Canada. Here you have to stop for a break. Not a 29 minute break, uh -uh. not 25 minutes, that's not long enough. You have to stop for a 30 minute break at least, or you'll get a ticket. You can actually go to jail, can't you? Can't they arrest you in the States for violating hours of service? Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I think they can arrest you. <laughs> I believe this is the only industry and only job where you can actually go to jail for working overtime. I wonder if they can arrest us in Canada too if we go. Probably, they can fine us for sure. You get a big ticket if you work overtime. You go over your hours. But in Canada, we don't have to stop for a mandatory break at all. There is nothing like that. We do, however, have to stop as flatbed drivers. We have to stop every, what is it, 250 kilometers? Or at least every three hours to check our load and we have to flag it in our logs uh, that we stopped and checked the loads, checked the straps, made sure everything was still in place and nothing had fallen or is falling off. We do have to do that. But there's no like set time. I don't have to sit there for a half hour if I don't want to. Like, it takes me what, five minutes, if that, not even, to check the load. It takes me like two minutes. I just have to flag it as one minute. I mean, it takes one minute to walk around the trailer to make sure all the straps are tight and boom load is secure, right? I find it very odd that we're forced to take a break. But whatever. My point is that I have to take that break anyway, so here we are. We're at this uh, in line here at the at the Blue Beacon, and after this I'm going to go and park, go inside, grab something to eat maybe, and a, and a coffee, make sure I get my 30 minutes in, and then head on down the road. I want to deliver this lumber behind me. Can you see it there? I want to deliver this lumber behind me first thing tomorrow as early as possible because I want to get reloaded as early as possible. My reload is 30 minutes away from where I'm unloading. Because as soon as I get loaded, get it tarped and secured, I can go home for the night, hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow night. But if it takes too long, I'm just going to have to go straight through because i got to be in Kamloops, British Columbia, 7 a.m. Monday morning. It takes two and a half days to get there from Minneapolis where I am, south of Minneapolis. It's break time. Right in here. This is the one, Diesel. Right here. This is a good spot, man. Thank you. Thought so too. This way we can have your steps going out the side there and no one's gonna bump into them. How's your day been, Diesel? Hey. I know you have that camera on your face, man. I'm not stupid. See it there. So we're in a rest area west of Minneapolis somewhere. We're about three hours from our destination still. I'm pretty much gonna park right at the customer. Couldn't get a hold of them this afternoon to let them know I'm coming. They know I'm coming, but I wanted to know exactly when they'll be there so I can be unloaded right then. Uh, they didn't answer. So I left a message and said I'll be there first thing and I went on Google and I Googled their business and apparently their opening hours, according to Google, are 5 a.m. That seems really early. But uh, Google never lies, right? Google can always be trusted, right? Google is totally trustworthy. I am still dirty. Still dirty, yep. Come on, Diesel. Come on. There you go. So, let me.
me know. How are you? Did you have a good day or what? I had a good day. I had, a, I had an actual, I had a decent day. It was decent. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been better. I mean, I could have won the lottery. That would have been a great day. But anyways, we did all right. It was a good day. Here we are. We didn't die. We lived another day. So hey there, there's a good thing. Right. So we're just gonna get all our footage together on the computer here, and uh, Diesel's gonna edit it for me. Right, Diesel? That's the agreement. I don't remember this agreement. So tomorrow early morning we're delivering here. Early, early, as early as I legally can. We're gonna get this lumber off of this step deck behind me, and we're gonna run up north, just about a half hour to Owatonna. And that's where we gotta get a whole load of glass again. Uh, we gotta tarp it and make sure that all the rugs are underneath the tarp so the tarps don't rip through and that's got to be in Kamloops, British Columbia on Monday like I was telling you before. So usually you know how it goes when I go to this place in Owatonna. Uh, when I get there I'll probably be leaving there mm, probably about six hours later maybe even eight. So I want to get there as early as possible because it's still a nine hour drive home from there. Let's say I get there 7 30 in the morning okay and I'm Loaded, tarped, and out of there at 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 30. Nine hours home. I would still only be home at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm trying to get home for just one night this weekend. Just one night. And then I'll continue on the way to Camelot's because I, I, I don't really have much time to waste. But uh, in return for this uh, two weekends in a row or three weeks gone, sort of, I get to go uh, take a long weekend off and go to the cabin with my wife. So there is a light at the end of this tunnel and also Payday is going to smile on me. I love it when Payday smiles on me. Those are the best Paydays. Uh, I need one of those. I really do. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and one of the other more important buttons, the bell right beside the subscribe button. What that does is it'll send you a notification to your phone then when my vlog goes live. There's a new vlog every day, well, most days for that part. I'd love to have you as a part of our group. We are nearing 80,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time this video is released, we'll have hit 80,000. I don't know, go and check. Wow. We've been doing this for seven years, so I mean, that's averaging a little over 10,000 per year. I mean, slow growth compared to some channels, faster growth compared to others. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy and you guys are amazing. I, I'm so blessed to have you guys as an audience. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me do that, you can share my videos on your social media. You can talk about me to your friends. You can, uh, I don't know, you can figure it out. <laughs> I will leave that with you, good sir or ma'am. I, I don't know what to tell you. Thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget that little bell. So you get the notification. Otherwise, you miss a vlog, and then you're out of the loop. And then you come back and Trucker Josh, what's going on, Trucker Josh? And I'll be like, you missed it. You missed it. You got to go back and watch it now. Then you got to watch two videos a day instead of one, just to catch up. And that takes more time. It's easier if you just keep up every day and watch every day. Right? Right. I'm just messing with you. You guys do what you like. Uh, leave your comments down below in the comment section there. I love hearing from you guys. I do read them every day. I don't always engage down there. I don't always have time as I'm a busy guy working this job plus trucking altogether. Uh, it takes a lot of time out of my day, but I do read them and I appreciate all of your feedback. Talk to you tomorrow.